What's up everybody, Garden City Aviation here, back with another video. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing my first Phoenix model. Uh, so without further ado, let's get started. Uh, now this box is packaged quite weirdly. Uh, instead of there being the tape here, it's on the side, so... Oh! There, there's a hole in the box. I hope it's going to be okay. Uh, but anyhow, let's get to opening the box. This is my first Phoenix model. It's also my first Asian model. Uh, you'll see which model it is in a minute. I know which model this is. Uh, this is my um, Air India 7878, the Phoenix one. Okay, so you have the normal packaging, and then... Oh my gosh, this thing looks... Dude, this thing looks really cool. Um, wow. This is my first Phoenix model, so... That's a plus. I have now Phoenix, Gemini, and NG, so... I have all the three big players. Uh, I see the big one too. That's on my list of things to get. But yeah, wow, wow. This is okay. So there's nothing more in the box, but oh my gosh, this looks really cool. Wow, the the box looks just really nice. I mean, the background I feel could be a little bit different, but this is why we're doing a box tour now. Uh, but this is uh, what the box looks like. Uh, you have Boeing 7878, I don't know why they put two trademarks, like, I'm pretty sure, oh, okay, I get it. Uh, you put two trademarks, you have the club out of the aircraft, you have this background, I don't know why they chose, like, a seaside background, uh, but this is in the Mahatma Gandhi livery, so, uh, just pointing that out, but yeah, this is, uh, Air India 788 in the, uh, Mahatma Gandhi livery, but, uh, Boeing 7878, you have this, I don't know why they would give you this background, they gave you this, um, like, seaside background. I don't know why you would do that uh, when this is, like, you know, not an airline that's close to the coast. But that's beyond me. Uh, but you have Air India down here. Uh, registration, which is Victor Tango, Alpha November Papa. Uh, run the 400 scale Platinum Series. I have no idea what are the, what, the, what like, these series are. Like, with um, the Phoenix, they, I don't know. Uh, please comment down below. What, what is, like, Platinum Series and that? I have no idea, but, yeah. Um... On the side, you have the Phoenix Models logo, 7878. You have the aircraft. You have this blue line, and the, the box The box is damaged. Uh, it's, it's very slightly damaged. But uh, I'll get to the texture of the box later. But uh, on this side, uh, you have just uh, the warning information. And the side is the same as this side. And, of course, this side, the Heart of Aviation uh, Phoenix Models. But, yeah, and on the back... Uh, this is celebrating 150 years of the Mahatma. That's actually quite interesting. The Mahatma. Even though Mahatma Gandhi was a person, but the Mahatma. Um, it does have the Boeing sticker, which means it's an officially licensed product, so that's good. Uh, but the bo the back of the box, this, I know this is a, um, please don't get angry at me for this, but uh, I think this is a mosque. Um... I don't know what this is for sure, but I do think it's a mosque. But the box, um, it's a very weird texture. Um, I'm gonna go get a Gemini disc box. Okay, so I'm getting, compared to the textures of the uh, Gemini and NG boxes, these boxes, you know, are reflective. Meanwhile, this one, it's not reflective. I, it's, I feel like the box is more premium. Um, the, what it's made of, it's like more premium cardboard as compared to, uh, NG and Gemini's, which is more, um, plastic as you guys can see. Uh, but yeah. Anywho, let's get to the best part of every unboxing, and that is opening the model. Wow. I'm really excited for this. Um, like I said before, this is in the Mahatma Gandhi livery. Uh, but wow. This tray is really... This tray is really stuck in here. Um, okay. Oh my gosh, this looks... Wow, this looks really cool. Wow. Uh, the, I'm not, like, amazed by the tray, but... The model looks really cool. Um, this is my first Asian model, so... Wow. Wow, 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 wow. This 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 model looks really nice. I can already tell you that um the packaging, even though it's prob it's basically the same as um 
Engine and Gemini's, but it's better. But oh my gosh, th dude, this feels so premium right now. Wow. Um, it's not like uh, silky like Gemini's. If you guys know what I mean, it's not silky like Gemini's. But it, this look, this, this looks really cool. Um, nothing came broken. Everything is on, and the engines are straight. But uh, since it's seven eight seven eight. It's a little bit short, I mean, as compared to, uh, like, you know, the NG7810, uh, it's, it's, it's a bit short. Um, not gonna complain, though, as, you know, it's, it's a bit short. Not gonna complain because it's a different variant, but this looks really cool. This is in the Mahatma Gandhi library, this is the third time I said that, I, this is the last time I'll say that. And, um, the reason why I did get this model was I need it for Newark, uh, basically, uh, the landing gear, the landing gear is like silver. That that's pretty cool. The landing gear is silver. So that's that's pretty cool. Landing gear is silver. Nothing came broken. Um, and you actually have quite a lot of antennas. I'm surprised. Uh, really good job, Phoenix. Really, really good job. Really good job on their part. Um. Okay, back into focus. But um. Yeah, so I got this model because I needed it for Newark. Air India do fly to Newark. They fly to two destinations from Newark. Uh, Delhi, Indira Gandhi Airport. And they also fly to um, Mumbai, Chhatrapati, Chhatrapati Shivaji Airport. Um, the 7878s, they do fly to Mumbai. Uh, and they also fly their 777-300s uh, to Delhi. Uh, so you guys can obviously see why I got this. It was on Diecast Airplane Store. Um, this was an absolute steal. It was on sale for uh, $41.95. But I got this uh, using the discount code on Diecast Airplane Super Monday 30. Uh, and I paid 39 bucks for this, which is a real steal. Considering that the original price, like when it's not on sale, is 41 bucks. But this feels really premium, um, the landing gear. I know I've only been collecting, I have like 15 models, but I've only been collecting for a short while. But this feels really premium, I can already tell you that. As, you know, compared to Gemini's quality, this feels really, really premium. Uh, but yeah. That being said, let's move on to the detail segment. Starting off with the detail segment of this model, you have the cockpit windows, Indian flag, Starline's logo, L1 door, you have the landing gear and the red landing gear doors with the uh, last three letters of the registration, which is Alpha, November, Papa. You have the Air India titles in Hindi. Comment down below if it's another language because, you know, there's many languages uh, in, uh, in India. And then here... As you guys can see, you have uh, 150 years of Mahatma Gandhi. You have that title there. And then here you have an antenna. Uh, the IATA logo. I'll put the model in for you guys to see. Okay. There you guys go. You had the IATA logo. And then here you have the uh, El Tudor. All these windows. The wings. The engines in white and the uh, sun logo. I forgot what this is called. I'll search it up uh, and I'll put it uh, title down below. Um, I don't, um, I'll put a title down below. I might not. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, uh, you have the white engine with a sun, I believe, rising sun. Uh, you have the wings, but um, I just noticed that the model came with a bent wing tip, but uh, bent wing tip. Uh, but I'll have to live with that. But uh, yeah, you have the L3 door. And then here you have the Boeing 7878 logo, the registration, which is Victor Tango, Victor Tango Alpha November Papa, the Dreamliner titles in red, and you have the cargo door. And then here you have the L4 door. And moving into the red of the tail, you have two antennas. You have this one, which is loose, and then you have this other white antenna. And then the tail, instead of the normal Aaron delivery, you have Mr. Mahatma Gandhi um, on the tail. And then moving on to the other side of the aircraft, the only difference between the left and right sides of the aircraft is that on one side you have the titles in Hindi and the 150 years of Mahatma Gandhi. And then on the other side, you have uh, the Air India titles, except this time it is in English. You have the Air India titles in English. Um... And on the wing, you have the registration of the aircraft, Victor Tango Alpha November Papa. 
And uh, here you have a cargo door uh, on the left side of the aircraft, whereas on the right side of the aircraft, you only have this uh, small cargo door. On the right side of the aircraft, you have um, this larger uh, cargo door. And um, as you guys can see, um, I'll move it a little bit closer. If you guys can see this, it's it's a little bit weird with the windows. The windows are a bit off center, but I'm not going to um, completely, you know, get all angry at um, Phoenix for this. I know this is really hard to do, uh, getting these windows on center. So I'm just gonna say good job, Phoenix, because you know, most companies, like some companies, do really bad with this stuff. But yeah, and then the engines, you have the wonderful fan blades. And then on the bottom of the aircraft, you have uh, the silicon. I don't know what this landing gear is made of. I like this silverish tint to it. I like the um, silver that it has, but then the texture is kind of weird when you put the model on the ground. Uh, but yeah, and then on the bottom of the aircraft, um, you have this um, antenna, white antenna, and a red underbelly. And then if I didn't mention, there is an antenna here. But yeah, oh wow, the sun came out. Wow, the sun is really, really bright. Okay, okay, okay. So basically, my only other kink with the model is, of course, it's bent. Uh, you have a um, loose antenna, and um, I'll move it into the shade so you guys can see better. Um, there is a difference in the color between uh, the engine and the fuselage. That is something that does need to be improved. I've seen... Model companies have problems with this before. I mean, um, NG has had problems with this um, before. NG has had problems with their coloring before. As you can see with their Scandinavian SAS 330, except this one is, you know, much, much, much less um, uh, drastic. But yeah, overall, this model is pretty decent. Um, basically, I'm gonna go into a bit of a history lesson here about Mahama Gandhi and the reason why the liver exists, so, uh, please sit back, and, uh, it'll only be really quick, but, uh, basically, Mahama Gandhi was an independence leader in India, uh, he fought for India's independence, and he helped India gain his independence, uh, gain their independence, uh, in the early 40s, and, uh, in the early to late 1940s, and the early, uh, 1950s, so basically, that was who Mahatma Gandhi was, uh, they painted this livery after him, after all, he was a very important, um, Indian independence leader, uh, he held many marches and strikes and all that stuff, so yeah, that's basically the reason why they painted the delivery after him, and, um, I really like the drunk they have of him on the tail, I really enjoy that, um, it's like him looking down, that looks really, really cool, um, good job, Phoenix, on that, and good job, uh, Air India, on painting such a good livery, but yeah, now let's head on to the conclusion, where I'll tell you guys my thoughts. Yeah, so my thoughts on the model is I have a very mixed opinion about this. On one hand, the livery looks really good, but then on the other hand, you know, uh, the model came with a bent winglet and a loose antenna. And the box, I can't complain about the box at all. Um, but I have a very mixed opinion about this. Um, I'm definitely going to keep collecting Phoenix models as they do release some pretty, pretty cool models that I want to get. But... I'm, this has kind of made me a little bit wary of them, because coming with a bent winglet, coming with a bent winglet like that, and, you know, a loose antenna, that doesn't really scream, you know, quad, it doesn't really scream, you know, the best detail, and that doesn't really leave a good impression on your company, um, if you know what I'm saying. But, I also got this model, uh, I forgot to say that, I don't know if I said that, uh, when I first unboxed the model, um, if I'm saying it again, I'm sorry, just, uh, skip, uh, to the end of the video or leave the video, but, uh, basically, I got this model for Newark, Air India do fly two routes for Newark, they fly a 777-300-788, they fly 787-8, uh, to, uh, Mumbai Chhatrapati Shivaji Airport, so you guys can obviously see why I got it, and they also fly a 777-300, to uh, Delhi Indira Gandhi, the 777-300, I do want to get in January, uh, when Herpa releases it, I most likely will get it in January, so that's big, big on my list, um, as I know the model will definitely uh, go rare in the near future, uh, but yeah, I'm 
pretty happy to have this model. Um, this is my first Asian model. Uh, for the most part, I only have uh, one European airline, SAS, and all American airlines, uh, Alaska, Spirit, United, you know. So I, I'm really happy that I got this model, um, but I'm not really that happy about the bent wing tip. But, you know, I can't complain as I got it on sale on like, Blackass Airplane Store um, for 39 bucks. So that, that was a real sale, 39 bucks included shipping that I paid. Like The total price for it was 39 bucks. So that was really, really good um, for, you know, a 787. But, uh, yeah, and my only other kink with the model is that the winglets, uh, the wings do seem to be a little bit high. Um, but, you know, what can you do? I got it for on sale, so maybe that's not how all of their 787 molds are, but I just need to get another 7878 and compare it to, uh, the Air India one, so that way I can, you know, just see the difference. Uh, but, yeah, that being said, um, I don't have really any more video plans for 2020. Um, when this is going to be posted, either the Christmas airport update will already be out or it's going to air uh, on December 24th. That's in two days when I'm filming this. I'm filming this on December 22nd. Um, the Christmas airport update will be out. I will be posting a um, plane spotting at Prague video. I'll be posting a plane spotting video. And really, I'm not going to be posting any more videos in 2020. I don't really have anything planned um, for the rest of 2020. So. I, maybe this might be the last video of 2020. This is one of the last videos um, of the first year of the new decade. So that's that's pretty cool. But uh, yeah, that being said, that's just going to do this video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my videos. Comment down below what you think of my review, what I should improve, and what are you guys getting for Christmas and or the holidays. So yeah, once again, thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next video. As always, goodbye.